Hello friends, in this video we will learn about how we can deal with working location and take best advantage of it. Basically current location is one that we see in command prompt just before cursor. Current location is also known as current working directory or present working directory. By default PowerShell or all other command prompts assume that the items that we are working with are located in current location only. In this example, we have two commands. In first command, we have not specified any particular location. So this command will list the contents of current directory that is one marked in red in screenshot. In second command, we have specified a path particularly. So it will list contents from that specified path only. PowerShell has many commands to deal with location. We will be seeing these commands in coming slides. Get hyphen location tells the current working location or current working directory that presently we are working with. In this example, we are trying to get the current working directory. As we are already aware, areas are very helpful in reducing time to write code and code length itself. PWD and GL are alias for this command. In example, we can easily see the benefit of using alias. Many times there may be cases that items like files, scripts that we need to work with may not be located in current working directory. In such cases, we need to pass absolute path for these files, folders and scripts. Using absolute path again and again in command or script may increase the length of code and time of writing code. In such cases, setting current location to the location of files and folders that we are working with may always be helpful and efficient. Set hyphen location command sets the current working location to a specified location or directory. In this example, we are trying to set current working directory as marked in yellow. SL, CD, CHDIR are alias for this command. We can use any of them as per our convenience. In example, we can easily see the benefit of using alias. Command has 12 characters, but its alias has only two characters. As we came to know in last slide, in some cases, there may be scenarios when the contents or items that we need to work with are located in some other directory, but not in present working directory. These cases may force us to leave our current working location temporarily. In such cases, we can preserve our present working directory location using push-location command for later use. In this example, we are trying to park our current working location so that we can retrieve it again after working with temporary location. As you are already aware, alias are very helpful in reducing time to write code and code length itself. Push D is an alias for push-location command. In example, we can easily see the benefit of using alias. We were working with our current location. Then we changed to a temporary location to work with some items for time being by preserving our current working location. Now it's time to get back to our preserved location. Pop hyphen location command is used to get back location path that we preserved using push hyphen location command. In this example, we are trying to retrieve our preserved location. popd is an alias for this command. In example, we can easily see the benefit of using alias. Now let's recap. Get hyphen location tells the current working location. PWD and GL are alias for this command. Set hyphen location set the current working location to a specified location. SL, CD and CHDIR are alias for set hyphen location. Push hyphen Location is used to save current location path for later use. Pushd is an alias for push-location command. Pop-location is used to get back location path preserved using push-location command. Popd is an alias for pop-location.